In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this 3D photo effect using Photoshop and Facebook. And after that, I'm going to show you how to add different elements inside to make it more complex and fun. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Rule here. And as you can see, this is the final output. And to create this effect, you need only one photo. So let's go to the file menu and open the photo. So I'm going to select this photo and open it into a new document. Now, before we start doing the effect, the file size is way too large for Facebook. So I'm going to go to my image and then go to image size and 6000 by 4000. It's too much. So I'm going to uh, make it like 1500. Uh, I think this is more than enough. Then hit OK. Now I'm going to unlock the background, double click and hit OK. First of all, we need to remove the background and that's pretty easy. Just get your quick selection tool from here. Right click quick selection tool. Make the press a little bit smaller using your bracket keys and make selection of the model. And also make sure that it is on a plus option here. We need to remove this from here. So for that you can go to minus option and remove this little bit of portion. Uh, and the selection is almost ready. Once your selection is ready, you can go and click on the layer mask icon. So the background is gone. Now we need to refine the selection. And for that, uh, you can right click here and then go select and mask. In old version, it is uh, refine edge. So click on that one. Uh, once this is here in the view, go and click on on black. And in the opacity, go and make it all the way to 100%. Now, if I zoom in, as you can see, uh, the edges don't look good. So to fix that, you can go and increase the smoothness. So it looks really nice and after that you can increase the contrast so it's not overly soft uh, and I think that looks pretty nice and then hit OK. After that again right click and go back to select and mask and after that uh, you can go and paint on the hair here. Make sure you select the second option your refined brush tool. Make it a little bit smaller and then paint on the hair like this. So enter selection is almost ready and I'm going to show you how to fix it later. So this is done here and then hit OK. Now to fix this thing, it's actually pretty easy. Just get your brush tool from here, uh, right click and make sure it's super tiny, uh, something like this, even smaller. And then you can go and just erase it. Just make sure that it's a black color and you're painting on the mask. OK, so now you can go and erase it like this. And if you make a mistake, you can just change it to white color and paint things back like this, as you can see. So it will bring it back. So the most difficult part of the tutorial is actually done, which was to make the selection. Now, before we do anything, we need to name the layers so it's easy to understand. So on this layer zero, I'm going to rename it to model. Now we need to create a background uh, for that create new blank layer and rename it to background map. Uh, after that, you have to select your gradient tool from here. So you can right click on the paint bucket and select the gradient tool. And in the this two colors here, you first of all go and select a kind of bright gray color. And then at the bottom, you go and select a little bit dark gray color. Uh, something like this hit OK and here in the options make sure that you have foreground to background the first option selected then hit OK now go and paint it like this so it should be uh, lighter at the bottom and darker at the top that's it so I'm gonna go and paint it a bit more like this I think the uh, foreground color is still a little too bright so I'm gonna make it a bit more darker OK and then paint it again so the background map is ready and now I'm going to show you how to create the model map. For that create new blank layer and rename it to model map. After that we need selection of this mask. So hold down your command key or control key and click on this layer mask. So we have selection of the model. Now normally you can work with this selection but I have found out that Facebook sometimes gives you this weird artifacts which doesn't look good in the 3D photo. So to fix that, it's actually pretty easy. All you have to do is make the selection a little bit bigger than needed for your main subject. So 
all you have to do is once you load the selection like this go to your select and then go to modify and then go to expand and you can expand it by two pixels if your file size is bigger you might have to use bigger number but it's the same logic i'm gonna expand it by two pixel hit ok so selection is now slightly bigger after that right click here and get your paint bucket tool now we have to fill in the color and it's actually easy to pick all you have to do is hold your option key and click where the photo of model ends so this is here and you can do a click like this and after that make sure that your model map layer is active your selection is active and then do a click and it will fill in the color and now you can remove the selection so you can go to select and then deselect so the selection is gone and the model map is ready now all we have to do is save the files and upload them to facebook uh, for that first of all let's hide the eye eye on both of this layer activate your model layer the original one then on the layer mask right click and select disable layer mask so you have the original photo back then go to file and here go select save as and in the format make sure that you select the png and then you can name it anything so let's name it the 3d facebook photo dot png okay then click on the save button and right now i'm using medium but usually i recommend using smallest size for the internet so go and hit ok done now we can save the depth map for that turn on eye of both of this and make sure this is visible like this after that, you can go to file, again, save as, and in the format, go and select the PNG. But when you name it, be careful. It should be exactly the same as the previous one. So as you can see, we have this 3D Facebook photo. So type it exactly like that, 3D Facebook photo. But this time, at the end, you have to add underscore like this, and then type in depth, D-E-P-T-H, okay? then you can go and save it so hit save button and i'm gonna keep it medium hit ok and depending on your luck it will save itself between 10 seconds and 10 years so just have some patience it's done now we can go to facebook and upload both of the files so now we are inside facebook and here you can go and click on this photo and video button and select upload photos and videos and in your folder select both of the files that you selected so hold down your command key and click on the depth map and to the photo make sure the names are correct then go and open both of them and as you can see you don't have to do anything once you upload both files facebook will automatically turn it into a 3d photo and if you move your cursor around as you can see we have this really nice 3d effect uh, and it also doesn't have any artifacts this one here as you can see uh, that is because we didn't do the proper selection that's it other than that as you can see everything looks really nice and clean so basic effect is ready now i'm going to show you how to add different stuff inside to make it more interesting for that let's go back to the photoshop we are back inside photoshop and first of all let's hide eye of both of this layer so we have this regular photo and i'm also going to uh, click on this layer mask so it's active again now what we have to do is make copy of this model layer so press command j so we have the copy now on this copy layer rename it to background now hide the eye of this model layer and make sure only the background is active after that click on the layer mask here and press command i or control i and take this and put it under your model and you can turn the model back on so as you can see we have model on a separate layer and we have background on a separate layer exactly what we need after that uh, take your type tool you can i'm using text but you can add another photo whatever you like so i'm gonna just do a click here and type in the word 3d uh, let's change the font and color When you type in your word, make sure that it is between your model and background. That's it. So I'm going to take this and put it under my model and above my background. So as you can see, it already looks really good. Now I'm going to show you how to create depth map for the word 3D. So for that, again, go to your background map and create new layer. And as you can see, this is also between model map and the background map, just like this is between model and background. So 
double click on your layer one and I'm gonna type in the 3D map. So basically map for word 3D. Now for a moment, let's hide all of this uh, and turn on our background map and the model map, but make sure that the word, th uh, the layer 3D map is active. Then hold down your command key and click on this T here. So it will make selection of the word 3D. Then just like the model, get your paint bucket tool, hold down your option key and click at the end of the word 3D here. So this color looks good. Then do a click. So it will fill in uh, with the same color. Then you can go to select and deselect. So as you can see, we have this really nice map with the word 3D now. And just like the last time, uh, let's hide all of this and turn on this three. So we have model 3D and the background and you can save it. Done, now let's save the depth map. So I'm gonna turn on eye of all of these layers. Make sure this is active like this. Then go to file. It is done, now we can go to Facebook and upload both of the files. So we are back into Facebook. Uh, you can go to photo and video, upload photo and video. And here I'm gonna select both the file that we saved, the 3D Word, Word 3D depth, and then Word 3D, the original file, and then open both of them. Once they are uploaded, Photoshop, uh, sorry, Facebook will automatically turn it into a 3D photo. Now, as you can see, if I move my cursor around, the word 3D also moves into the 3D space uh, alongside with the model. And the best part is that you can add in anything instead of the word 3D between model and background and it will look really good. So that's pretty much it. And I really hope that you found this video helpful. Uh, and you can also add something into the front. As you can see in this example, I just added PNG file of this uh, book pages and it also gave really cool effect. So keep experimenting and I really hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions, feel free to ask me in comment section below. If you want to check out more videos by me, you can click on any of these boxes and you can also subscribe to my channel. So every time I upload a new video, you will get the updates. So till then, goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.